came home from work to see me. Just to see you, yep. And bring me a sway, a, a, a sway link off of a Kubota. Yep, off of a Kubota. Yeah, what she brings is that with a cobbled up, <laughs> just the end of some threads with a bunch of weld in it. And says, can you fix it? Well, that's all I, she brought me, so... I had to make the rest of it. Hopefully that's going to suffice. Oh, it should work. Better if work one way or the other. We'll make it work. So, not my problem now, but she might want to wait a little while before she throws that in her car. It'll burn through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, look. No, I haven't been in here. I've been outside. I should go shut the bolt bin back up. Keep these doors closed and it stays a whole lot cleaner in there. So, oh, fed some bales. Number one says, hey, lift me up. Okay, so we knocked three starling nests out of the vapor barrier on the very front little tiny section on the feed barn. They have messy bastards anyway. So, that's my day so far. Nice, bright, sunny, windy. We all know I'm stuck messing with making pieces for a couple cabinets for Becky. So I send number one over here to get my Brad Nailer. Little compressor to run it. And the nails for the Brad Nailer. Which should have all been together. Well, I don't know where the Brad Nailer was back here for sure. This is gotten changed around. These plastic boxes used to be downstairs, mostly for bearings. And with the exception of the first section of that shelf that's always been chains and some long bolts and stuff, miscellaneous stuff that didn't fit any place downstairs. This has been all building materials back here, except for that yellow press there. God knows what kind of mess it's become. Because guess what? There ain't a damn thing here. I should have like four or five of them little plastic boxes of brad nails. Of different lengths. There ain't a damn thing here. Am I happy? Oh, frick yeah. Just frickin' so happy. I thought I made it clear when things got moved around to make sure that that kind of stuff stayed together here. So I don't know where to look. I really don't. There's an empty black box there from my old Brad Nailer that blew up. Another one below it with my newer jigsaw. I thought the new Brad Nailer was in a box and had stuff with it, but apparently I was wrong. That happens once in a while. So... Apparently I have no nails for it. Well, they're here somewhere. They have to be, but... You know... When things get thrown and not put where they belong... You can't find a damn thing. And I think this is what number one was talking about. Oh, there's a whole bunch of these. Yeah. But guess what? We're not anchoring anything in concrete today. And there ain't nothing in here that I need. So, makes me just want to take about a half a step backwards from where I am right now. I don't want to worry about it no more. But I don't need to get in that much pain because it wouldn't kill me. It'd just beat me up and make me worse. Oh, i got to figure out where the hell to find some. Yay me. Becky and number one are over there finally putting her vegetables in some tubs. I've got all the pieces cut. This is going to be the bottom. If I get out of the... There you go. I can see it. This will be out here. That'll be against the floor. Doesn't need to be any support against the walls. Just toward the back. And this is the bottom of the top piece. She got this one a little cheaper because it's damaged, so... I'm hoping nails are going to hold that tight with this. 
that gives it a ledge roughly 9 sixteenths of an inch to slip into the top of this one and I don't know what I'm going to do on the very top yet can't get to it I'll do something to set the TV on so I'm waiting for some nails I actually found that Home Depot had some of the right ones inch and a half that'll work the uh, issue is I talked to number two hour and 20 minutes ago she said she'd be off work in about 15 minutes yeah she's only about 10 minutes from home depot she ain't back yet right she ain't here yet i should say so i'm patiently waiting for that get some nails and get that stuff stuck together and then maybe if it's done soon enough the three of them can put those in and i can figure out how to fasten them to the walls dogs should be barking for a reason Little Senko, she's been uh, resurrected a few times. Not this time. Should be a new little bugger to set down right there so I can get this thing together. You better work. Who's gonna stir the crap out of Becky? All those pieces are nailed on. Lots of nails showing. That's what putty's for. And that little bugger literally was just running. It just shut off. Bubble Freight, it's really quiet. Made the other one sound like a freight train. Did the job. Had to turn the pressure down a little bit, but and the first nail out, of course, bent and screwed up and buggered everything up. But that's why I did a couple tests. I don't think there's a nail in that hole. It's the one that buggered up. There's a board laying over there with a nail in it. So. And unfortunately, with the way the trailer's sitting, that's all the closer they can get. But it is what it is. And, hey, I was told that, you know, if number two was nice, she'd hold those things on the pallet while I moved the machine. And number two tells Becky, you know, if I was nice, I'd run the machine while you hold them. <laughs> so, next stage is in the house. Told you it'd fit in here, right? Little, this little bit around the edge. That way, she doesn't have to put the flooring clear up against it. It'd be easier. Give it a little more stability, I hope. And uh, there's two by twos and two by threes in between. So they fit together. Had to wiggle a little bit to get it to pop in, but it's together. Still got to figure out what to do at the top, but TV's up there. And. Uh, I guess tomorrow I get to mess with the wiring behind it and get everything up the corner of the wall, so it'll be up there where it belongs. I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm sore. I hurt. And, ah, look out! She's showing me her phone. She's showing me a barn fire out near her banks where we used to live. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know where it's at for sure yet. Doesn't look familiar, but you know, can't see everything from the road. So anyway, it's there for right now. It'll get pulled out tomorrow, and the wires you can see right there. I got to try to fish them over to the corner so we can plug that hole and figure out where the <clears throat> what there isn't of uh, supports in the wall are. I'm thinking. That base piece is probably going to get screwed to the floor. And wherever we can find some place, I know there's a piece right in the corner. There's a piece right against the hole those wires are at. There better be another piece in the middle somewhere. And there better be another piece on that other wall somewhere. I know there is because there's a seam in the, in the whatever they used on the inside. There's a seam in it in just about the right place. So it'll all get sucked back to the wall. Then we get it up there and together tonight. And Becky says, you know, I, I, there's room for a bigger TV. As long as it's away from the wall, there is. I think that's a 30 or a 32. I think it's a 32 inch. Ain't nothing like the big screen in the other room. But anyway, there it is. And, uh, yeah, she's painting the floor. Uh, kills 
made for mold and mildew is what she's painting on the floor. Then she's going to do, I think, two layers of linoleum opposite directions to help seal everything. The linoleum planking, the thin stuff. That was the plan anyway. But the holdup is me. Get stuff done in that corner and get that thing shoved back in there and then things should be golden, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. So, thanks for watching. You got to see part of my day. I'm going to find me an ice pack.